Huntington's disease. By me, myself, and I. Huntington's disease. The devastating genetic disease has a 50% chance of being passed down into your kids. It's caused by brain damage to neurons in your brain by the meat and form of the hunt Huntington protein. Its symptoms include muscle twitching, issues in muscle movement and control, mood personality shifts, thinking and communication problems, and memory and emotional issues. Error on communication. It's a progressive degeneration of neurons in the brain, and the mutation leads to a 37 plus CAG repeat. Normal CEG. Z E A G P. Normal CAG repeats are 26 or fewer. 40 plus means full penetrance. Capital D colon. The case in question Andrew, patient number 5, a 45 year old father of two whose symptoms are muscle occasionally twitching. Trouble lifting heavier things like the bars of the gym. Balance issues, stumble and tripping more often. Lots of coordination issues, trouble fitting the key in the door, and a slurred voice. This seems to be a case of Huntington's disease. Some tests that he has to go through. He needs to go through genetic testing, and it's confirmed now that he has Huntington's. But even before the testing occurs, there's a process called genetic counseling that Andrew must go through and his kids if they were to want to have a test. Sadly, upon discovery, a lot of Huntington's victims commit suicide. This counseling service is typically done to the children, relatives of a person who's already diagnosed with Huntington's in order to try to prevent that from happening. And it's usually a six month period before discovering at the end if you have it or not. This counseling helps you decide whether or not you want to know. And it helps answer common questions. Though in Andrew's case, the test is sort of necessary since he's already displaying symptoms and the counseling will likely just be answering questions, not the drawbacks or pros of knowing if you have it or not. Depending on what Andrew's family history looks like, he'll go through this modified version and his kids, if they want to know or not, will go through it too. Brain MRI images. The far left is a normal human brain. Middle and far right are those affected by Huntington's disease. Prognosis and treatment. Sadly, there is no cure to the disease, and there's no way to slow it down. Most people die within 10 to 30 years of their first symptoms showing. Most likely from fall damage or infections they were unable to fight due to the, due to the debilitating disease. And, as I mentioned earlier, suicide is the most common death cause quotation marks, by HD. Treatment. Dertarabenazine and tetrabenazine can help treat chorea linked with HD. And antipsychotic drugs may ease hallucinations, violent outbursts, and delusions. Also, drugs can be prescribed to treat depression and anxiety, which is also often associated with HD. Professionals who can help. And a neurologist. Neurologists are doctors who specialize with diseases in the nervous system. Hence the name neurologist. Neurologists have many tasks, like updating charts and patient information, ordering tests, scans, or MRIs. Reviewing test results and helping patients with questions about their health, treatment, and well-being. Neurologists typically need a bachelor's degree, a degree from med school, and the classes they should take should be anatomy, pharmacology, and psychology. They can help the patient by issuing them scans and answering whatever questions they have about their issue. Other medical professions that can help is a genetic counselor. These are really important in the HD journey, quotation marks. As I mentioned earlier, their responsibilities include advising others on what gene genetic tests to take, interpreting genetic tests, and providing counseling services. They are professionals who work with all sorts of people to educate them and help them understand genetic information, diseases, and family health history. To be a genetic counselor, you need to have a bachelor's degree that includes, that includes courses like genetics, duh, psychology, and biochemistry. Genetic counselors can help a patient by suggesting which tests to take and providing them with their counseling service. And here's some citations of all the websites that I used.